Hello viewers, welcome to Ghani SK YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create hand railing 1024 in Tecla structures. Let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. First we are going to create columns, so click on steel, select column. Pick the position to create the column. Right click on mouse, click on interrupt to exit the command, click on beam. Pick the first position, pick the second position to create the beam. Click on interrupt to exit the command. Now we are going to change the beam profile, double click on beam. Click on here. Select channel. Click on Modify to see the result. Now channel created. Now we are going to create the handrail on this channel. Click on Application and Component. Type here 1024. Select this handrailing 1024 component. Click on this channel, pick the position it here to create the hand railing. To edit this hand rail, double click on this component symbol. Now we are going to adjust this distance. Let's take 1.5 feet, click on modify to see the result. Similarly like that you can change this distance also. Let's take 1.5 feet. Click on modify to see the result. You can adjust the total height of this handrail from this option. Let's take 4 feet. Click on modify. To adjust the near rail height, click on here and enter 2 feet. Click on modify to see the result. To create the curved rail, click on here and enter 1.5 feet. Click on modify to see the result. To create the same rail on this side, enter 1.5 feet here. Click on Modify to see the result. You can adjust the distance between these two parts. Click on here and enter 5 feet. Click on Modify. Let's take 7 feet. Click on Modify to see the result. Click on Parts tab. You can change Stanchion profile from this option. Click on here. Click on this standard profile. Click on Apply, OK. Click on Modify to see the result. Now this profile increased. To change the handrail profile, click on here. Select this profile. Click on Apply, OK. To change the knee profile, click on here. Select this profile. Click on Apply, OK. Click on Modify to see the result. Click on Parameters tab. To create the connection at the bottom of the handrail, Let's take weld default. Click on modify. Now welding is generated at this junction. Let's take base plate type connection. Click on modify to see the result. Base plate connection is created. 
click on apply, OK. To edit this connection, double click on space, click on display, tick mark here, click on modify, apply, OK, click on OK. To edit this connection, select this option, double click on this component symbol, click on parts tab, Enter 3 fourths inch thick, click on modify. Now connection plate thickness increased, let's take 1 fourth inch, click on modify to see the result. Click on bolts tab. Select bolt size 5 eighths inch, click on modify, bolt size increased here. This option is used to adjust the edge distance in width wise. Let's take 1.5 inch, click on modify to see the result. Enter 1.5 inch on other side, click on modify. Enter lengthwise edge distance 1.5 inch. Enter bolt spacing 5 inch, click on modify to see the result. To apply this component properties to the remaining component, hold the control button, select remaining components. Click on modify to see the result. Click on Apply, OK. To create the different type of connections, select this option. Double click on this component, click on Parameters tab. Click on here and select Angle Type Connection. Click on Modify to see the result. Now we need to offset this handrail to attach the angle. Click on Picture tab. Enter 3 inch, click on Modify to see the result. Click on Parameters tab. Select Side Plate Connection. Click on Modify to see the result, just like this, you can edit this connection to change the plate and bolt size with the same procedure, as mentioned in the Base Plate Connection. Select the Elbow Connection. Click on Modify to see the result. Click on Picture tab, enter here 5 inch, click on Modify to see the result. Click on Parameters tab. Select Shear Plate Connection. Click on Modify to see the result. Let's take elbow connection, click on modify, apply, OK. That's it about how to create hand railing 1024 in Tecla structures. If you have any doubts, please comment below. If like this tutorial, please like it and share it. For more Tecla structures related tutorials, go to my channel youtube.com slash GaniSK. I will provide channel link in the description, go through it, and come here. Please click on subscribe button, if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when I upload a new tutorial, thank you.